Hello, hello, everyone. I see Swaddles already with us. Hello. Welcome in, everyone. We are going to continue doing some Tem Tem today. We beat our first gym leader, I guess. First dojo leader. First first something. So we're going to heal up and uh, maybe beat the dojo. It says I have to get back to the Aerosola Era dojo and beat Sophia. Sophia. So I'm guessing that's what we're going to do. Do now. We're all healed up. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at this guy. He's got like a a Moogle helmet. He's got some wings. Like, oh, well, I just jumped off that thing. So I guess that's enough of checking that dude out. Let's go figure this out. My notification said Choo Choo says expecting a spider. <laughs> All right, so these are the... The warm-up bozos, huh? This is the dojo fodder. I like that we get a little ring there. It looks like it's a, um, like a boxing ring. Gert's here. Hello, hello. And DC beam. Let's take out the duck. Okay, decently strong. Uh, decently. Level 17. I think we can... I think we got this. Take out Saipat. I don't think you did this gem in your OG playthrough. Can you... Can you skip the gems? Interesting. A para... Oh, it's that thing. Okay, uh, let's Rage and DC Beam that as well. I feel like so much changed since 2020. That's that's probably accurate. Probably very accurate. Scarewatch Watch is healed with his strong liver. Okay, that's interesting. I feel like there's so much more to these battles than like the than like a poker battle between not just the weaknesses and strengths, but the two times and four times effectiveness aren't as normal or don't happen as often and like absorbing things and healing things and all that. There's just there's a lot that goes into this. Uh let's heavy blow that and scare a lot. Let's move you out for Saipat. I don't think you can skip them. The game makes you do the main quest in each area before unlocking the next area. So that would make sense, right? That's kind of how like a regular Pokemon game would work, right? That the, you got to beat everything in the area. I like the stamina system. I think it's a fresh take. I, I definitely know that uh, while we were just playing... Um, uh, what game? What was that other game we were just playing a whole lot? The... Um, Nexomon. The Nexomon had stamina too, and I definitely agree that it's... Uh, it's a nice fresh take on the system. It it means even if you have like an absolute ringer of a Pokemon, Temtem, Nexomon, whatever it is, you can't just sweep the entire team. You're going to run out of effort before you can. I really like that. Sorry, I got something in my eye here. So I, I like being forced to use other things. I like that you can't just have one super strong Nexomon and just sweep them. But I also like that um, you have the choice, right? Like if you want to keep using that one, you can, but it's going to start sacrificing your health, right? So you got to make that decision of what's more important to me to, to keep sweeping them or keep my, my health up. I think that's a really cool addition to the genre. 
Alright, I guess we're going up here. I don't know why I'm running past these things, and I don't know where I'm going, but I figure... I figure there's no wrong way to go, right? I'm up to the point in my playthrough now where I'm going to the mountain for the first major town after school. That's what that's what we just finished doing, was we just finished um, going up the mountain. Um, something just went wrong, though. My controller's not working. Uh, give me one second here. Let's see if we can... It, it's plugged in. It, it's, it is plugged in, so... Hmm. Come on. Okay. Let's test something really quick. Let's plug in. Dexter's here. Excellent. Hello, Dexter. Hello, hello. Uh, my controller just died, so we're we're kind of sitting here for for a second. I've got it on a different charger, so we're gonna see if if the. Uh, if it really is the charger, it was it was supposed to be charging all last night, so I don't know why that would be, but we're gonna we're gonna see if that works. I want you to know, Dexter, after the stream After the stream I uh went and told Emmy what you said and she made me listen to Prince. And I, I really hadn't she showed me um why Doves deserve to cry, purple rain, and um, some other song. Uh, I recognized one of them, but to be honest, I really didn't like them. <laughs> so I gave it a shot. I listened to some Prince. Just figure I should let you know at the start of the stream just in case you need to leave again. <laughs> Alright. Controller is charging. We'll give it another minute or so here and then we'll see if that fixed it. Made St. Waffles need to redeem himself. I went I went and listened to it, right? I I, I can't say I don't like Prince if I can't honestly name any of his songs, but after listening to it, it was like, it, this is like Walmart Michael Jackson is what I would describe it as. Like, it was okay, but it, it isn't something I, I would go go seek out to listen to, you know? Like, if, if it was on, I wouldn't be offended if it was, like, playing in, in the room or something, but I, I wouldn't, like, intentionally go to Spotify and be like, yes, play this. You really don't want me here, do you? <laughs> we always want you here, Dexter. We're we're just all about honesty. I'm 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 Catholic. I'm not allowed to lie, right? So I have to I have to be honest, and this is what honesty looks like. Did you just say he was a Walmart Michael Jackson? <laughs> I mean I I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> Here comes Emmy. <laughs> All right, so we we charged up the controller just a little bit. Let's see if that that fixed it. Uh Uh, no, that did not fix it. Okay, give me one second here.
This is, it does not want to work for me today, like, at all. Um... Let's see here. Oh, it was Raspberry Beret. That was the other song. I couldn't remember the name. Like, I so you couldn't remember the silly name. All right, so, uh... So, uh, Temtem's not going to work today. Um... Yeah, the remote play just does not want to... to take my controller here. Did you just call Prince of Walmart Michael Jackson? I, I did. I I stand by what I say. I, I, I stand by it. I Well, you said that he was like Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson's like the king of pop, right? So he can't be as good as Michael Jackson, so he has to be something something else, right? Hi Gert, how's it going? Silly name, you just wanna put your foot deeper in your mouth. <laughs> I said you do not listen. Okay. I do listen. I I I try and I try and listen, but there's like this communication thing where like Emmy's like apparently Emmy said that we need that we have hot dogs that we can have with the chili, but I took that as we have to eat the hot dogs with the chili and get rid of the hot dogs. So I ate like four hot dogs yesterday trying to eat them all before they went bad. So apparently she says one thing and I hear something completely different <laughs> do i ever struggle yes i um i struggle struggle a lot with different things especially around the faith uh for a long time i i struggled with tarot cards uh and and using them i, I struggle with uh praying when the answer is no that's a big one <clears throat> Uh, with temptations from Satan and demons. Oh, definitely. I mean, temptation is just, is just a part of of being Christian, right? <laughs> he struggles with music taste as well. I say I don't want ice cream one day, and automatically I hate ice cream. <laughs> I mean, communication is is funny like that. I was lied to when we were dating. Okay, I. I do admit to fudging a lot of the truth when we were first dating because, like, Emmy was big into music, so I needed to impress her. So, you know, of course I had to tell her that I liked ACDC and all the bands that she liked, you know, Van Halen and uh, I, all, all, the, all the bands that she liked, you know. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't tell her that I didn't like them, right? Because how are you, you going to have have a date with someone if they don't like the same music as you, right? So... <laughs> we went to, literally went to Rockfest. We did go to... We did go to Rockfest. I did, um... I did enjoy Rockfest. Uh, you yeah, we got to hear, hear, uh, Godsmack. So that was awesome. Uh, and Shinedown before they were huge. Um... Seven seven days something was there as well, so it, it wasn't like a waste. Like I liked Rockfest, so I, I don't know. I, I I wouldn't say that was a complete waste. I think Rockfest was well worth worth it for us. Um, I've got one more cable I can try, but after that I'm I'm spent. I'm out of cables. The one thing you don't lie about is music taste. That's a deal breaker. Well, luckily she didn't find out until 10 years later. So by then we were married and I was safe. So. <laughs> yeah. Ten years wasted. <laughs> I 
I'm so sorry that he's like this. <laughs> okay, uh, Temtem is not going to work at all today. So, um, that's not good. Let's see, what, what else do I have around here to play? <laughs> Um, play Mario Maker. Um, let me see if I have my controller. Oh, where did I put it? Ah, I think I found it. No, I, I found it here. Thank you. Welcome to stream where nothing ever is supposed to be how it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, switch. Work. Work with me, switch. Okay. Got that. Got that. Now we need to swap that. There we go. <laughs> We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We were playing It Takes Two. Um, you want to see some levels get bombed. It Takes Two is uh, is the one for that. All right. We have we have swapped over to Mario. It should say Mario, so we'll we'll give it uh probably 30 seconds or so before people come in here and start asking me to play their horrible horrible levels. So it's only a matter of time. It has been a while since I've played Mario Maker, though. <clears throat> it has been a long while since I've played Mario Maker, in fact. Alright, let's, uh... Let's just play some uncleared levels like we usually do until someone brings in a level. I did get rid of Upside Down Controller. I, I've got to bring that back at some point. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see. I need... I need my game sound as well. Let's see if we can get that. All right, let's see here. Oh, 
Alright. So what are we doing here? <laughs> Lose the glasses? Okay. So we've got, uh... A jump right to the death there. It's kind of hard to see with all the lights on. <laughs> it's the best we can do. Alright, so we're gonna... Jump on that dude. And get wrecked right there. Can't believe Troll King is missing this. He should see the notification here in a little bit. He'll he'll be here. I I am pretty confident in that. We will get a troll level soon. Okay, so what are we doing now? Oh, oh, wait, I lived. I lived. And I got a shelmet somehow? I, I don't know. I don't know how I got the shelmet, but I lived. I am doing way better than I have any business doing on this level. <laughs> Somebody wake him up. Um... I, I don't know how how to do this. I was doing so good too. We got we got so much progress. I don't think I'm gonna be able to dumb luck my way into that again. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> On the topic of, of dumb dumb luck, but not, not luck, just dumb in general. Uh, I was telling Emmy about this earlier today, but um, I was talking, talking as I do on the Christian forums, because I have nothing better to do than talk on the Christian forums, apparently. And we were talking about the illiteracy rate in America, and how telling people to just go re read the Bible doesn't exactly help, considering, you know... Most people in the United States can't exactly read at a proficient level, right? We're talking about lots of groups who have a sixth grade or worse reading level. And they legitimately told me that, like, that is that is not a concern. If someone is illiterate and tries to read the Bible, then the Holy Spirit will come upon them and they will be able to read and understand the Bible. And I was, I was blown away. I, 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 what do you even say to that? Like, what do you, what do you even say to that? Exactly, Dexter. What? Like, a huge part of the church history is, you know, that people couldn't read for the longest time, so they had to rely on oral history for finding out, you know, how everything worked because they couldn't read the Bible. So to. To make this allegation that the Holy Spirit will allow you, even if you're illiterate, to read the Bible was just... I I just ended the conversation at that point, right? Because there's, like, nothing I can say will make any sense to this person if that's what they truly and sincerely believe. Quick, I'm going to give my baby the Bible and see if the Spirit comes to read to him. Emmy, did you did you do that predict, Emmy? I that was something I wanted to do more of. I, I read about it, but I've never actually done it. The the predict allows you to gamble your viewer points on predictions. And and if it comes true, then you get to double your viewer points and everyone else loses their viewer points. So it's a great way to get viewer points. Um I don't know exactly how it works, but <laughs> I want to gamble all of my points. You want me to set up a different one? Yeah, uh, set up one that is, I will, I will clear this level in the next three lives, please.
after the after the prediction has started. <laughs> Gotta focus for people's points. <laughs> the predict is a really cool feature. I saw that on uh, the Beast Thav. He does does a lot of predictions, and so does Barb. Uh, when I was watching them, I was like, "Oh, I want to do that," but I never knew how to do that. So apparently, Emmy's been Emmy's been brushing up on her Twitch stuff. Oh, excellent. Submission closes in 1 minute and 40 seconds. Place your bets, people. Place your bets. <laughs> all, all the votes of confidence. We got two lives left. We have to beat this in two lives. <laughs> 35,000 points says no. I won't beat this in the next two lives. <laughs> the the overwhelming confidence of of my chat. <laughs> All right, one life, one life. We gotta. We've got to go super beast mode on this one, and nope. <laughs> I'm gonna get some points hype. <laughs> Emmy, how are you gonna do prediction points for your stream? Cause I don't how do you how do you make predictions in in cross stitching? <laughs> Ooh, that shell was coming for, coming for me. It'll probably be how many times will Emmy be your pants while playing Slenderman? Is that the game you decided on? Is Slenderman the, uh, the horror game you're doing? Has anyone ever seen Parks and Rec? I think we've watched Parks and Rec all the way through probably two times. Don't know yet. There's a lot of good horror games out there, so don't limit yourself to just... just Slender. Money, please. Oh, for the points, the, uh... Oh, uh, what's her name? Uh... She's the worst. That's all I remember. Well, that's not working out so well for me. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we're gonna beat this level. Let's try a different one. As I spill water all over myself. Mona Lisa, yes. The Mona Lisa. And, uh... Ralph? Ralph something? I did lose the prediction. You can, you can put in... You can put in a lose for that prediction. John Ralphio. That's right. <laughs> There's so many good things on Parks and Rec, like so many good scenes I can think of. It's hard to think of like one one best scene in Parks and Rec. I have to do it. How do I How do I do that? How do I How do I give you guys your points for Uh let's see. This is the amount of things in here. All right, let's let's give you guys your your thing. Um Oh, well. 
just disappeared. How do I manage prediction? Okay, choose outcome. All right, you guys should see should see your points coming your way. Yeah, 50,000 points. Dex and Bubbles rolling in the points. We're gonna certainly hear a lot more. You didn't earn any points? It might take a second for them to... to come in. Maybe? It says it's... Oh, wait, it says... Yeah, it says 50,000 points will go to Dexter, Emmy, and... Swaddle, so you don't earn it without challenges? What is what is a challenge? What is a challenge is? Oh, like someone someone has to vote against it. So if everyone's unanimous in that I'm gonna lose, you don't get the points. Challengers. Okay, that that makes some sense that, that there has to be someone basically to, to take the points from so to speak, rather than... It, it, it's like gambling in real life, right? You can't... You, someone has to put money towards the other side or else there's no... There's no gamble. Someone needs to vote 10 points against. It'll show you your odds when you're predicting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't get your 50,000 points. You can't spam John Cena and the Titanic flute. <laughs> All right, so Emmy put it back up. Three lives from now. Can I clear this lie if in three lives? Three lives. Tie three times in a row. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it my all. You know, I'm not gonna just throw it, but. I'm also not the best at Mario Maker, so, you know, take that as you will. I don't know how well you're doing this level. Actually, so far, I haven't done terrible. I, uh, I jumped off a cliff, but that wasn't my fault, so, you know, we're... All right, let's go up here, and we're gonna glide. And... Okay, nothing over there. So we got the power up, that's what we came here for. <clears throat> let's actually try and beat the level. Let's, let's remove some points from people. Let's lessen the amount of points that exist. Oh, well, that's not good. So, right now it's 1k versus 0. Look at that! I actually beat one. But I don't think anyone voted against you, so I don't think you can get anything that time either. <laughs> Yoshi's Dino Nuggets, a troll level. Actual level contains no Yoshis. All right. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we're going to start another one. We will start another prediction. Uh, 
Uh, start a prediction. Okay. Okay. There it is. The prediction is up that I will dodge dodge one troll in this troll level. So let's let's start with the big brain plays. So it looks like we need to go down below to hit the switch. And there's a spike up above. So I'm going to say we're going to go right towards the spike. Uh, no, we did not dodge that one. <laughs> so... I don't really know what happened there. That... Is that supposed to kill me? <laughs> I win again. <laughs> Wouldn't let you vote. Okay, so that is supposed to kill you, but if you move to the left, it also kills you. So that's that's a double troll there. So we're making some progress. Maybe we just wait here for a second? Maybe if we wait, the the level will just let us through? No? Okay, okay, we, we know about that spring. So there's a box here. As we know, when you sit in the box, you typically get crushed. So we're gonna sit in the box and do nothing <laughs> and get a fish. <laughs> oh man. Troll King's gonna be so sorry he missed that. I, the first fish of the day. So move out of the way of the fish. And look out for the hole. <laughs> Close the bet. I think it's already closed, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna have to find a more efficient way to do to do predictions. All right, dodge the fish, jump over here, go through the door. Wait, wait, okay. Okay, waiting is the wrong move too. I've literally, I've literally chosen the wrong thing to do every single time. <laughs> every single time. We we are gonna outsmart this level at least once, at least once. But uh... okay, so we gotta move fast through here. All right, so it wants us to jump up above. There's a spike, and we need some sort of fire, fire flower, portaboo thing. So we're going to do half jumps and see if we can activate the fire flower. Yeah, okay. I don't know if we did that right or not, but... I'll take it. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I just got absolutely destroyed, but... Uh... 
Okay, so it doesn't matter if you do small jumps or large jumps there. It just, it automatically lets you through. So if we go here and then jump, we should be able to dodge that. And soft lock ourselves. This dude has all the tricks in the book. Apparently my, my troll senses have gotten dull from not uh, not playing this enough because I've, I've fallen for every single one. Every single troll. Hold right, jump up, get the fire flower. Jump. And then we wait. Or do a, do a half jump? There we go. Alright. Making it through. And I missed the hidden mushroom down below. <laughs> These levels are so ingenious. I do not know how how the people do it, how they think of all these little things to make you fall for, and how they get like inside your head and know exactly what you're gonna do, and then get you to do the opposite, and then they go you know, like, okay, I've got you three times in a row, but now I need to shake it up because there's no way you'll fall for it a fourth time in a row. Like the things people do is just incredible with the, the troll levels. I really wish I could have got Temtem to work today, though. I was kind of looking forward to that. Uh, I got Evil West is coming next, so that's what we'll be playing. Um, hopefully in in about three days is we'll have Evil West to play, which I know almost nothing about, so I couldn't tell you what it's about. I just I know that we're we're gonna get to play it, so that's probably good. <laughs> Alright, jump. Come over here. Now we... Make the thing explode. Fall down the hole. Get the mushroom. Come through here. Get hit. Alright. Big brain time. Left or right? Right looks like it would live. And then... Left looks like death. So... I've gotten every single one wrong here. I've gotten every single prediction wrong. So that this is what it's telling me is... I need to go... Go to the left and then it'll swap the things and then it'll keep me alive. But because I've been wrong so many times, I'm going to go the opposite of that, and I'm going to go to the right, even though the right is the wrong answer. No. No, that... I tried to outsmart the level, and that did not work. That did, uh... That did not work. I will be uh, going back to work in the office here soon, which means I will be driving to and fro the office. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping once I go into the office and get kind of a rhythm for things, hopefully nothing will be changing for a while after that. So I will be able to put a stream schedule set in stone. Uh, and then, you know, stick to it. So that that is the hope, is that we will be able to get a stream schedule. Um, by, like, February. Just in time for the new Harry Potter game. Hate that for you. I You know, they, they said I could work in the office close to me, and they haven't emailed me back yet, and I'm running out of time, and I just, I don't think... 
I don't think they're going to accommodate me with that, so... As I promised them, if they wouldn't accommodate me, then I will continue to look for work outside because I'm not going to make that drive every day for the rest of the year. Just not going to happen, so... They had a chance to retain me, and they failed too, so now it's time to start looking for some other work out there. And they have no one to blame but themselves, because I gave them plenty of options. <clears throat> Is it just show up to the closer office? Yep, that's that's literally, literally it. I just want to show up to the closer office. There's room for me. There's no reason why I can't work there. It, it's just 100% that they don't want it. So, you know, I, I've busted my hump for that company a ton of times, and the fact that they're refusing to do something so simple is just one more nail in the coffin for why I don't want to continue to work there. Oh, well, I found a new way to die, so that's... That's good. We found something new. I'm kind of upset looking at my camera here. So before I streamed today, I spent some time cleaning up my office, but in the back of my camera, you you wouldn't know that I spent any time cleaning up my office because it looks just as dirty as ever, so... What was the point? <laughs> Why did I bother cleaning it? All right, jump. We're gonna come over here. Set this off. Just show up to the closer office with the written proof and claim a desk. I wish I could, but uh, I, I mean, I, I emailed the closer office. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. I emailed them because they said that they had space and they said that they could potentially accommodate me, but it's been like a week and a half and I'm running out of time for an answer. And the other issue is this other office doesn't open until later in the day. And since most of my office is based off the East Coast time, like... I just, I don't see it working, unfortunately. It's gonna, it's gonna be a huge frustration, so I'm just... I've been ready to leave the company for a while now, so I think I'm ready to... ready to leave the company as it is anyways, but... You know, I, I, I wanted to... I wanted to leave... when I was ready, compared to, like, right now, where it's like, I'm gonna take whatever job I can to get away from driving every single day, you know, so... Um, I, I would have rather have had more options available to me, I guess, if that makes sense. Because at this point, I just, I can't do that drive every single day. It's $200 in gas, and it's 50 hours of my life wasted in traffic, and it's just, it's not worth it. I was hoping streaming would replace that, but, you know, I haven't quite, uh... Haven't quite hit big enough yet to to be able to replace my income with with Twitch streaming yet. Still hoping, still hoping to hit that someday, but that that someday is not now. All right, there can't be too many trolls left in this level. I feel like we've hit hit every single one. I, I don't think there's much more that we can do. Unless this entire level is one of those things where, like, oh, the entire level was a waste of your time. <laughs> but you get a free steak dinner. I do get a free, well, maybe steak dinner. They haven't chose, they haven't chosen the restaurant yet, so... Um, it would be nice to know, because it's tomorrow, it would be nice to know where they want me to show up, but they have not chosen where they want us to eat yet, so... Oh! Oh! I dodged that fish. Did you see those reflexes? I dodged one. I got right around that fish. Ah, oh, and then they got me right at the checkpoint. Oh, man. The celebration and then the pain. It's gonna be McDonald's. <laughs> well, you know, they... So they asked, uh, they asked us, since we live in the area, like, uh, what is it that you guys want to eat? And I was like, I... I don't live in that area, so I can't tell you what there is to eat around here, and then they didn't respond to me, so... And, like, they're fully aware. They're fully aware that they're making me drive two hours to come to a dinner. And they're they're just okay with it. No, no, like, hey, you know, you could always join virtually. No, hey, how about we, you know, meet for 
something else at some other time. How about, you know, we, we ship you a coffee and we just have a, a virtual coffee talk? Nothing. They're just like, yep, you're going to drive two hours to come meet me and let me buy you food and then you're going to feel appreciated for it. Like, I just... <laughs> Man, I, I, I just can't see in what world... In what world is that a good idea? In what, what world does a boss think, wow, I'm such... Such a good motivator, that employee must love them forcing them to drive for a $20 meal. Like, <laughs> I, I just don't, I don't see their logic in it. I don't understand how they can not see their logic either, but I guess that's why I'm not one of the big bosses, because I can't, can't figure that out, and they can, so. Alright, jump up here, hit this. I forgot to hold left. The only thing I can say for certain that it's not going to be is Chick-fil-A, because a bunch of people have have complained about people eating Chick-fil-A and, you know, all the, the homophobia and bigotry and all that that comes with that. So the only thing I can guarantee it won't be is Chick-fil-A. Which is a shame, because I would enjoy Chick-fil-A, so the, the only thing for certain that I know that exists in the area, um, I know they won't do. If they want to get me the peanut butter pickle burger, I would love that. Bring some hot sauce and try a peanut butter pickle hot sauce burger. That I would try. There's a, there's a bar right across the the street from the call center that most of the employees go to. I have a feeling that's what it's going to be, is they're going to make us go eat bar food at the bar right across the street. Imagine it is Chick-fil-A, though. I just... No, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident that they will end up in a diversity meeting if they do that, because someone will complain. So I, I can say with absolute certainty they will not be choosing Chick-fil-A. Oh, well, we got halfway there. Those pokies are still getting us. I think we're going to be able to beat this. I think we're going to get through this one level. And then we're going to run out of time. All right, jump, jump. Ah. Okay, I got to count it. Got to gotta be ready to jump, but I can't bonk my head. I know one of them is kind of into ghosts, so maybe they'll choose the McMinimins near us because all the McMinimins in Oregon are built on like haunted locations, so maybe, maybe McMinimins. Okay, so it says I need to jump on that dude, but it looks like I can make this jump without it, so... <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I see something behind... Oh, well, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> Yo, Taco Bell, so if, if they choose Taco Bell, if they choose Taco Bell, I'm going to make them regret it because I like Taco Bell. And I know that they're giving us a per diem of somewhere between $25 and $50. So if they choose Taco Bell and we have $50, I am not above ordering $50 worth of tacos and just eating Taco Bell for the next week or two. So... I... I will probably be okay with Taco Bell. Not gonna lie. <laughs> That's like two and a half weeks of food if I get $50 of Taco Bell. Might not be the best thing for my stomach, but, you know, I've, I've also been eating chili for like a week straight, so... You know, the things we do. Okay, activate the fish, run back. Hold left, maybe? Crunch wraps are the best. I, so, I mostly eat at Taco Bell on Fridays because I don't eat meat on Fridays because, you know, Catholic. And Taco Bell's got a surprisingly robust, like, vegetarian menu. 
Not to mention they're willing to like substitute anything. So like they the their black bean burritos are super good. The the cheesy rice burritos were all super good. So if you need vegetarian food, Taco Bell is surprisingly robust with their vegetarian menu. All right, so there's a mole here. And it looks like if I go over here, something's going to boot me up into the mole. And try and kill me, so that's probably not the right way to go. What's this trying to tell me? There's something... Something by the cannon? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Something... I thought there were spikes under the cannon. I didn't think I could go behind the cannon. It's trying to tell you that you can't beat the troll. I, I dodged one troll. I dodged getting killed by the mole, so... Troll creator 20, me, 1, you know? It's the little victories. <laughs> it's the little things in life. Yeah, see, there's... There's spikes, so there's there's no way to... Do we jump from here? I'm not seeing it. Let's go take a look at that hint again. Dodge the fish. Hold left. Go up and over. Yeah, it says there's there's something behind the cannon, but how do I get the how do I get the behind the cannon? Unless is there a different cannon it's referring to? Is it trying to refer to like that cannon right there? I can't believe you're gonna call in sick and spend my birthday with me streaming all day tomorrow. <laughs> I wish. I mean, I do have some PTO I need to use up before I lose it, so it's not a terrible idea, but... They're the... Okay, so it's not there. I thought it would maybe be something with that, but it's not that at all, so... Uh, you know, some people, especially in the professional office setting, tend to be the, uh... the vindictive kind, who are like, oh, you didn't show up for this wonderful gift that I got you? Well, then, maybe you don't want that promotion so bad after all, huh? Maybe you don't want that PTO so bad that you're you're not willing, you know, how willing are you to do this sort of thing? So I while I want to, I also know the consequences of doing such a thing. Oh. Okay, there's a there's a spring hidden behind there. That's interesting. Okay. Progress. That's progress. Yeah, that's what I've been telling Emmy and, and her little sister all the time is just... You gotta play the corporate games, right? Like... Your performance sort of matters. How good of an employee you are kind of sort of matters. But, you know, 90% of what matters is 
can you play the corporate games? Because that's all people care about is playing the stupid corporate games. Okay, so what's going to happen here? Ah. Oh. So close. I think we're close to the end. I think I, I don't think this can go on for much longer. I think we've almost got this level beat. So we're going to we're going to persevere. We're going to get through this cuz we're we've got to be close to the end, right? I would hope, I would think. really hope how'd they hide that spring behind that I wonder all right grab the shelmet hold right beyond that hide under the incline no nope. don't hide under the incline And, like, it's a shame, because, like, I've known some employees who definitely could be great bosses and great at some different positions, but they'll never get a chance because they never played the corporate games like they were supposed to. And I know some people who should have never been promoted, but they played the corporate games, so they they got it. It's, it's a messed up system. They say that it's not supposed to happen that way, but everyone knows that it happens that way. Fix the lag on your TV, that's awesome. And like, we do these big LGBTQ plus diversity rallies at work occasionally, and obviously, being Catholic, I don't necessarily support everything that said or done in said meetings. However, I keep my mouth shut. And there are some people who a few times have have gotten wordy about how they feel about that in particular. And I can tell you that that, that was the exact moment, like I could pinpoint the exact moment that they killed their careers, was coming out in front of the company and saying something stupid on recorded line in front of all the big bosses, like, what are you doing? You gotta play the game, stay, stay quiet, you know? All right, so it says that we need to hit that. We we are not going to hit that. I guess it didn't make a difference because we fell anyways. <clears throat> now, one time we were on a meeting with uh, we we have this big things where like the the highest up, the CEO of the company, and all that uh, come onto phone calls and take our questions. You know, like, oh, look, we care so much about you. Our CEO will come answer questions for you. And it's supposed to be this big morale booster. And they get really upset if you don't show up. So even though most people don't care, you show up anyways because you don't want to hurt the CEO's feelings. But one time, oh, man, again, we could pinpoint the exact moment this person killed their career. Uh, they got up in front of everyone, in front of the CEO and everything, and basically said... I feel like I got passed over for a job because I'm white. What are you going to do about this racism that has happened to me? In front of the company, in front of the recording, these things are, you know, videotaped for future posterity so that they can watch them again or show them. And in front of the entire company, you called the CEO out like that. Like, <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Like... <laughs> A terrible, absolutely terrible mistake this person made. And people, I mean, that happened almost two years ago and people still talk about it. I'm pretty sure that person is no longer with the company. But like, when all the cameras are on you, you would think, you would think you would know better than to say something like that. Even if you feel it in your heart of hearts, okay, 
that's not the time to express said feelings in front of the entire company, you know? <laughs> it, it was it was insane. It was a very, very crazy moment. And everyone was just standing there just absolutely, like, silent, like, uh... What... What do we say to that? What, what do we do now? <laughs> oh, it says no mushroom and I tried to dodge it, but too late. Too little, too late. <laughs> oh, boy. So close. Good times in, in the corporate workplace, you know? They also sent out a bulletin. So, part of the place we worked in was like the highest, highest office of the company. So, you know, they, they expected a little bit of professionalism out of us, which I understand, you know, we're, we're professionals, we're executives, sure, we'll be professional. But then there was a big complaint because someone was wearing like Air Jordans and they got so upset like this is this is a professional executive environment and someone showed up in sneakers and that just that makes it so so hard to do our jobs. And I'm just what someone wearing sneakers makes it so hard for you to do your job. Oh, I hit it again. I'm missing about the billion because of the ad. Yeah, ads pop back in. Uh, I need to go into my settings and check that out because a few people have told me the ads have come back. And I need to look into that. I, I do not know why the ads have come back. Excuse me. So yeah, every every little thing apparently matters. Especially the shoes you wear. Especially the shoes you wear. Cause how could we all get work done if we were all wearing Air Jordans? Alright, so how do we avoid this mushroom? Do we just wait and then... Okay, that looks like it. We wait and then go. Sounds like a trip, though. The guy got canned. Oh, without a, without a doubt. And I, I sincerely hope that they learned. Okay, next job you get, don't do that. <laughs> like, I, I really hope someone explained it to them so they don't make that mistake again. Because that should have... That should have been a really obvious one, and one that's really, really easy to avoid. <laughs> but, you know, I guess the, the whole thing about, you know, common sense isn't that common, uh, I guess. Alright. We've got to beat this level. I'm, I'm ready to be done with this level, so... We've got to... We've got to almost be there, so we got to wait for the clouds to come up and then move. All right, I'm calling it. I, I'm, I'm so sick of this level. <laughs> I'm very, very tired of that one, so we're not going to get to the end of it. I think we got time to do just a little bit more, and then we'll do our ending prayer and end the stream for today. I don't I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow cuz I've got to go to that dinner. So probably next stream will be Thursday or Friday, uh unfortunately. Unless y'all want me to live stream the dinner. I I'm pretty sure pretty sure that's not allowed. I'm trying to think if there's anything in our handbook about live streaming it. 
and I'm pretty sure they'll have something to say if I try and bring my my phone out and say, hey, you know, this is when I usually stream. I'd usually be off work right now, so y'all are cutting into my personal time, so say hello to my followers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure that's another quick way to uh, get canned. All right, we're making progress. We're losing progress. We're making progress. I one-shot that whole section. Hey! Look at that! Pro Gamer Moves. World record. You're looking at a world record holder right now. Behold. Waffles. <laughs> Saints waffles. Waffles. Gotta play the theme song for the victory, right? It is time once again for your daily suggested serving of waffles. <laughs> All right, let's do our prayer really quick. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, today we pray for those who have gone missing, those who have wandered away from home, those who have run away from home, uh, whether it be metaphorical home or the real home, Lord. Bring all those who are lost and wandering back home safe and sound, free from sin and free from physical ailments and physical problems. Lord, there's a few people who've gone missing here in Salem, Oregon, especially, Lord, help to bring them home safe and sound. All this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, as I said, no stream tomorrow, probably on Thursday or Friday. Thank you, as always, for hanging out. Really appreciate it. And we will see you all soon. Have a blessed evening.